friends this is ramna today i will show demo on how to read header columns or header rows of csv file using script task in ss so before going to design ss package now i will show the sample file of my csv file this is my sample file it contains 1000 records and it has five columns id first name last name email and gender so by writing the by designing the package i want to extract the these five columns to get the result these are the five columns i want to display after completing the package now without wasting time let's jump into the demo this is my new package before that before dragging the script task into the control pane we need to create two variables first one is file path file path which is a string data type I'm taking the path of this uh, csv file and second variable is header column so we need to provide value for this uh, variable header column dynamically after writing the script some c sharp code i am closing i am dragging the script task into the control pane double click in uh, read only variable column we already created one column called file path i am taking this file path as a read only variable and in read write variable i am taking as a header header column and edit script <coughs> to open now i am adding one more name space that is system dot ivo system dot ivo code when uh, this code you need to write three line of code to get the result first time taking the stream reader using the stream reader using stream reader class create a new name for that is sr is equal to stream reader and from then we need to call the variables what we did dts dot stream reader dts dot variables after dts variables you need to write here your file path variable that is read only variable from the read only variable here and convert it into value dot to string dot value dot to string and close it and write another two two lines of code here one is calling the dts variables and this time you need to call the read write variable that is header column header column and you need to convert it into value dot Value dot value is equal to sorry, is equal to we already provided one variable name for stream reader stream reader sr dot read line read line is a method of the that stream reader class and after that 
लास्ट लास्ट लाइन ऑफ कोड इज हियर मैसेज बॉक्स मैसेज बॉक्स डॉट शो डॉट शो डीटीएस डॉट वेरिएबल्स एंड इन प्रोवाइड हेडर कॉलम अगेन एंड कन्वर्ट इट इनटू वैल्यू डॉट टू स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू डॉट and with semicolon so these three lines of code and the spell once again <coughs> first we take this stream reader class what it will do it will it will it will read the part of the data with read line and read line or uh, read methods so it will call uh, uh, read line method i will uh, i will give the new new variable name for this class uh, um, it will call the call the uh, read line method from the variable what is the user variable here file path from this variable it will um, it will read by using the stream reader, stream reader class after that the we show the message box dts dot variables user header column whatever the uh, whatever the header column um, header columns are there it will show uh, through message box after completing after executing this entire code here we need to get the message box for these header columns of the csv file just we need to know Three lines of the uh, three lines of this C sharp code. The uh, rest of the things is very easy and simple. Just you need to understand the uh, three lines of the code. So this uh, after running the package, this is the message you have to get for uh, uh, reading the header names, uh, header columns from the CSV file. So I am saving this code, closing it, and okay. Now I am able to run, run the package. Yes, you see here, ID, first name, last name, email, and gender. So ID, first name, last name, email, and gender. The same header column. What we, uh, what is there in the CSV file is displayed in the message box after writing some C sharp code. So this is the way you need to get the address information by writing the C sharp code. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.